how's it going? Nice to see you again, and I hope you're having a lovely day so far. Um, today, I think we're just gonna kind of start drawing and then see where it goes from there. Um, I don't really have too many ideas, but I think I have something to start with. So yeah, let's get sketching. So the night before I actually started drawing this, I doodled a little swamp lady and I thought she was so cute. I was like, dude, I gotta draw a better version of this. And in that process, I decided to change her into a boy because I don't really draw boys as often as girls. Uh, I still draw them a lot, but I haven't drawn any on the channel. So I was like, yeah, this is a perfect time to do it. Plus I think it'd be super cute. Yeah, so I'm not really sure where this idea came from exactly, but it was a lot of fun to play around with because I tried something that I don't normally do, and that is backgrounds. I am not very good at them, and that's mostly because I don't do them enough, I think, but I think they're a really fun thing to do, and I think they help a lot to bring an image together uh, and kind of explore your character's surroundings more and kind of world build. So I was trying to do a lot of that in this one and I ended up doing a sort of swampy scene, which is what I wanted for him. Um, but yeah, I think honestly that I've seen probably a million drawings of swampy type mermaidy characters in swampy type areas like this. So that probably started to inspire me, but I didn't look at any photos or anything. I was kind of just drawing out of the top of my head. So uh, everything you see is from my brain, but it's probably from pictures I've already seen in real life that have stuck into my brain. So I wouldn't say I copied anything, but I definitely know that I've seen a million things sort of like this. Um, just a disclaimer. But yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing this. I, for some reason, put a lot more detail into his hair and little wooden horn thingies than I did almost anything else. Um, Oh, besides that little, in the front, there's just this little patch of like black mossy grass ground stuff that you'll see. Uh, and I put so much time into that. I don't really know why, but I just spent like a, a good like 20 minutes on it. So yeah. But you know, the more I think about it, I actually spent just like a really long time on this piece. I don't normally do backgrounds, so I wasn't very good, like ex I'm not very experienced with it. So it took me a really long time to actually like plan it out and finish it and stuff. Um, and in the middle, I had to go out and buy new markers to like get the colors that I wanted and it still wasn't exactly the colors I wanted, but I'm pretty happy with it anyway. Um, you'll kind of see as we go, there's, there's no actual stopping in the video, but I'll let you know when I had to go out and buy new colors. <laughs> So I decided to go for a really like a kind of dark skin tone for him because I knew I wanted him to have uh, really light green hair and hands and I thought that the contrast would be super fun because I am a sucker for dark skin light hair like if the skin's close to black I want the hair to be white it looks so good and I love it so I was like I'm for sure gonna do that here. <laughs> So as you can see, for some reason I chose to make the water pink. Um, I actually did this off camera. I gathered like kind of all the main colors I wanted in this piece. And I saw that a bunch of them were greens. And since green's complementary color is red, I thought I would include like a light pinky color for the water because it would just um, kind of change the mood and the overall like kind of effect of the drawing. Um, so yeah, I went with like a really light pink, the lightest I had. And I go in later with like a light pinkish purple to kind of shade-ish the water. I didn't do any reflections because I guess I forgot slash didn't feel like it. But yeah, I thought it was a really nice contrast to have that really bright pink and then the like dark rocks and the dark trees and he's dark. So I don't know, I thought it would light it up and I like uh, the idea and the color. So yeah. Also, as you may have caught on, um, for some reason, I decided to do the whole back room, back, back room, background lineless. 
Um, I literally never do lineless artwork ever, ever, ever. So um, I don't know why my first instinct when drawing the background was to do um, lineless artwork. I don't know how that makes much sense, but I know that I probably just wasn't very secure with um, the outlines of the things that I had already. So I kind of just erased them and started going in with the um, colors. And also right here, I'm doing this effect. The farther things get away from you, the lighter and bluer they get. This is not one of those times to use that effect because it's in a very short distance and usually that's more like with mountains and hills and stuff because they're really far away so they get really light and bluer. But for some reason I was like, oh yeah, that's how that would work here too. So I did that anyway. I don't know why, but I just did. Um, these trees don't stay that light. I get darker colors obviously and then I uh, change them up and make them darker and they actually become like the mid uh, far away trees. I, I change everything so that the further it goes back, the lighter it gets. Um, I, I like the effect, but I don't really know why I did it. I just started doing it without thinking about it, but I don't know. I'm okay with it in the end. I just thought I would point that out to you guys before you start asking questions. Yes, it gets lighter as it goes back because for some reason I was thinking about hilltops. Um, which that is a good pro tip if you're ever drawing like hills or mountains or something. They get lighter and bluer as they go back. It's like one of them art rules. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I chose to do this whole part lineless and I actually think it looks super sick throughout the process. Like right there. Oh my gosh. So cool. But um, yeah, I, I end up adding lines after I finish coloring everything and I don't know if it makes it better or worse, but I'm okay with it. I mean, I thought it was a fun thing to try out. So yeah. And here I go in with the darker, newer marker that I just got. Um, no, I did not have the money for this. Did I buy it anyway? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I got that one. And then right here, I'm going in with the marker that I obviously already had, um, that I initially started the trees on. And then I go in with a lighter color that I also got with the darker one um, to do like the back trees. And I also got a tree color. What's that called? Brown. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot the word for brown. See, I got this new color too. I thought it was gonna be a different color than it was, and I'm honestly a little bit disappointed. The store that I go to, they didn't actually let me test any of the markers, so it's kind of a guessing game, which I don't love, but it's fine. But this marker's way closer to a marker I already have, this one. Um, so I was kind of disappointed that I got it because I wanted a completely different color. Um, and it turned out it was a really close one to one I already had, so I was kind of disappointed. And I didn't have any in-betweens that last color and that color just then. Um, and I, you can see I'm adding blue over it to try and make the distance thing that I was talking about earlier, where when you add blue, um, it looks further away. But I don't know why I was doing that with this, because it's such a short area, probably because I wasn't looking at references, but it's okay, all's well that ends well. So after finishing up the trees, I start adding um, moss on all the rocks and I'm using the same color that I used for the treetops, I think, on the rocks as they go past. So in this one, I'm using the dark green that's on those dark trees. And then as the rocks get lighter, I start using the lighter greens as well. Um, and yeah. Did I mention this video was guest starring my cat? So 
So right here I'm adding in some of those, I don't even know what those are called, like moss vine thingies? You know like when you play Minecraft, sorry nerd, you know when you play Minecraft and in the swamp there's like the vines hanging off the trees? I was trying to do that, so that's what that is. So right here I remembered the front part has a bunch of little grassies coming off of it. So I was like, well, I gotta do the same thing to this moss because otherwise, why would that moss look like that? So right here, I'm just going in and adding little grass parts to it. And then I'm getting out my fine liners and stuff and I'm outlining the whole background. So you tell me whether or not you guys like it without the outlines or with the outlines. Um, that way I could try something different or do the same thing next time I draw a background. Kitten's back. <laughs> Also, I would normally be able to do this perfectly fine, but I only had my one hand available because after I picked up Kitten, I put her on my lap and was petting her. So the reason I'm flipping the camera all sorts of which ways is because I'm petting my cat and I can't hold it still. And with the final little bits on the trees, this drawing is finally done. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with me throughout this process. It was a long one. This took me so long. I had to buy new colors to finish it and it still didn't quite turn out how I thought it would, but I'm really happy with it overall. I think it was a really good start um, for me on my journey into practicing backgrounds um <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video and hopefully you drew along with me if you did let me know um yeah so i'll see you guys in the next one and also i would like to add in a new segment at the end of my videos to show you my outfit because i really like clothes and i just thought it would be fun and i saw um a different artist youtuber person doing it and i was like I want to do that. So without further ado, here's me making dumb poses as I show you off my new outfit. Yes, I'm eating a carrot. It was my snack. And yes, my cat loves being picked up and cuddling. So don't worry. She's happy. She's safe. I'm holding her happily. She licks me. She loves me. Don't worry about it. <laughs>